I'm Caitlin. I used to be a student at the University of Winchester. So when I first came to uni, I wasn't a Christian. I went to church on like Christmas Eve for Chris Dingles, Easter, all of that jazz, but hadn't really been to church before. And then I come to university, I met some friends and all of a sudden I was invited to this Christmas dinner, which was really lovely. But for me, I'd never been invited to a church event. All I thought was that you go on a Sunday morning, the whole idea that there was gonna be a dinner just blew my mind. <laughs> Katie, this lovely girl on my course had invited me. She's like, it's this lovely thing. They put it on for students. It's this dinner. It's like Christmas, there's three courses, all the food. And we walked up and I did turn around to her at one point and say, are you sure this isn't for homeless people? Because in my head, this didn't seem right. Students didn't need three courses of food. We were fine, we were gonna cope. But I turned up and it wasn't. It was so lovely. Everyone was really welcoming. I sat with a couple of other people I knew and it was really, really lovely. But in the moment, all it was was a three course meal that was really nice and I saw some people I knew, but it wasn't anything that I thought, oh, I'll do again. And it was only because I knew some people from my rugby team that were there and they said, oh, we're doing this thing called Alpha and maybe you should give it a go. And I was sort of like, well, I've got a rug, I do rugby practice on Monday evening. I'll be okay. Maybe if I've got time, we can go, but wasn't really planning on doing it. And it just so happened, I actually fell down some stairs and really injured my ankle. And so I was out from rugby for that whole time. And I was like, well, I could go and sit on the sidelines in the cold and support my team. Or I could go to this alpha thing that I've been told has a cheese board. So I'm gonna go to the cheese board because <laughs> I'm a student and I was gonna get the free food. So I went and it was really lovely and we spent a lot of time just talking about faith and it was great to have those conversations and to meet people and to discuss with people. So then week six happened and I turned up, I was feeling really homesick. I think it's that second semester, everyone's tired and I was just getting really down and it come up to sort of the anniversary of actually my granddad passing away and my granddad and I were really close and I hadn't wanted to tell anyone. I'd felt kind of withdrawn and then it was just a lovely girl called Lois who was one of my table leaders. She just noticed, oh, are you all right? Are you feeling okay? And I sort of explained the situation to her. We went and sat in the corridor on the floor and it was a very student moment, I think, sitting on some carpet randomly in the middle of church on a Monday evening. And I just, I felt this presence just with me. I, now I realise I think that was God, but in the moment, I just felt like I needed to let everything out. And I told her things that I hadn't even told my closest friends at uni about how I was feeling and what was going on. And she just sat and she listened to everything that I'd said to her. So then she gave me this worship playlist and she said, you need to bring this to God. And I'm not saying that you are a Christian. I just think you need to listen to this and just spend time with God. And so I went home and I remember I put the playlist on and I think in my mind, it was only about 10 minutes, but really I was probably just sitting in my room for like two hours, just listening to this music and just sort of speaking out everything that was going on in my life. and. I came out of that so aware of how much God was around me and how much he'd done to move things and put things into place to get me to where I was. I turned up the next week so ready and excited and I was like, guys, I think I've met God. I think I've actually listened to him and he's speaking to me and I don't know what to do with all of this information, but I think I'm a Christian right now and this is so exciting. And it really made me rethink the whole way I was approaching uni and the whole way I was approaching life and my friendships and the communities I was in. All of that I did because I felt like God was guiding me through it and it was so strong and so powerful and those six weeks were like so transformative for me. I was like, this is amazing. I feel like a whole new human being. From then on, it was just like a love of God and a love for the community at Christchurch and it changed me as a human being. It really did. <laughs> It's really funny because I have gone full circle with it all now and I'm actually doing Alpha as a leader in January. I'm not the person on the table being spoken to, I'm the one speaking, which is so strange. Looking back, if I would had the chance to speak to myself and say, do the Alpha course, I probably would have looked at myself and gone, that's a ridiculous idea, but it's the best decision I ever made and if I could tell anyone to do it, I'd say do an alpha course, it will actually change your life. <laughs>